Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain how to do simulation in Vision Planner. So this will be useful for all the beginners. Let's start. So open Vision Planner. Before that make sure you have a good internet connection. Go to simulation. Here we have to choose which platform we want to simulate. Airplane, rover, multi rotor, and helicopters. Here I am going to choose multi rotors. Version, uh, I choose stable version. Now the vehicle is connecting. So now the aircraft is connected uh, in mission planner. So disarm the, the aircraft status is disarmed. So this is the uh, altitude in meters. This is the airspeed indicator in meter per second. This is the battery voltage, uh, 12.6 volt. So it is connected with the three cell battery. This is the 0.0. .0. This is the arms consumption. And this is the EKF. EKF uh, is used to estimate the vehicle position, velocity, orientation. Uh, it is based on uh, gyro, accelerometer, compass, and uh, airspeed measurement. So, uh, while flying, is there any problem with the aircraft sensors, autopilot sensors? So, you can get to know. This is the vibration during flight. Is there any vibration on X, Y, Z axis? You can get the clippings here. So this both is very useful during flight and this is the GPS system which is connected and the flight mode is stabilized. So here you can get some more information, altitude, airspeed, channel 3 percentage, distance to whom and uh, how long it is flying. So the time you can get it here. So let's start with the simulation. So I'm going to do simple waypoint navigation. So you can choose flight plan here. So, uh, click once home location and make it zoom and zoom out once. You can get more details on map. So first, let me put some. Uh, Find here. So this is my takeoff location, 25 meters. It take off, takes off in 20 meters, and then it is going here. Second waypoint at 25 meters altitude. And then third waypoint at 25 meters altitude. And then fourth waypoint with 30 meters altitude. And fifth waypoint at 30 meters altitude. And sixth waypoint at 25 meters altitude. And then I add below. This is the simple Vipai navigation. Once the aircraft is taking off here at 20 meters altitude, it goes to second waypoint at 25 meters, and then third waypoint at the uh, same 25 meters altitude, and fourth waypoint at 30 meters altitude, at fifth waypoint, same 30 meters altitude, then it goes to sixth waypoint at 25 meters altitude, and finally it goes to return to launch. So uh, here you want to add any delay, if you want to hold the aircraft in particular location, you can add delay seconds here. So I am going to uh, add a delay on third waypoint, 3 seconds, and fifth waypoint, 3 seconds, and 
that's all. So after that, uh, how to write the waypoint? To confirm that, I'm going to clear this mission. Then I did it. Yes. That's all. So then go back to flight data. Before do the mission planner, make sure your aircraft is in loiter mode and keep it ready. Um, mission stop. You have to choose ARM. Aircraft is armed and mission start. So now the aircraft is taking off. You can get the altitude here. It reached 20 meters. It is heading towards second waypoint. At 10 meters per second speed. It reached 24 meters altitude and then aircraft is heading towards third waypoint at 10 meters speed. So now the aircraft is holding for 3 seconds. Now it is heading towards 4th waypoint at a 25 meters altitude at a 10 meters speed. Now aircraft is reached at a 4th waypoint at, and also it reached 30 meters altitude. Now the aircraft is heading towards 5th waypoint at a 10 meter per second speed. The pitch angle is minus 30 degree. Now the aircraft is holding for 3 seconds at 5th waypoint. Now it's heading towards 6th waypoint. Aircraft is reached at the 7th waypoint. So it goes for final approach. It is returning to the takeoff location. That is uh, return to launch. You can check the altitude here. Now the altitude is dropping. The aircraft is at 5 meter altitude. Now, aircraft is landed. Now, the aircraft status is disarmed. So, this is the simple waypoint navigation for the beginners. If you have any doubt, please comment the video. See you all again. Bye.